Welcome to Rocket Networking, the fastest way to get your multiplayer game maker game live on a real server. This is the first step to connecting your game to millions of players on the internet. Let's get right into it. The first step is to head to our website at rocketnetworking.net. Click on my dashboard, select sign in with email or sign in with Google. If you do not have an account, then this step will automatically create an account for you. Follow any additional instructions to set up your account. Once your account is set up, you will have access to your dashboard, as seen here. Double-click on your secret key and copy it now. We will be using this soon. Now go back to the Rocket Networking homepage, scroll down and click Get the Template. This will take you to the Rocket Networking engine that is located in the GameMaker Marketplace. You must be logged into the marketplace in order to download the template. So click here to log in with your GameMaker username and password. Once you are signed in, click back two times and refresh this page. You will now see this button, Download for Studio. Click this button and save the zip file to your desired location. Double click the zip file to extract the contents. Double click on the YYP file that is here to load up GameMaker. Once GameMaker is loaded, you will see a folder called Rocket Networking and double click on the first file within this folder called Options. Replace the placeholder key with your Rocket Networking secret key. Be sure to use the format as shown here with your key between the quotation marks. Also, make sure to never share your secret key with anyone. Now set your desired target and run the game. We will be using GX games for this demonstration. If you see this pop-up message, then congratulations. You have just connected to your Rocket Networking server for the first time. One important thing to note here in this pop-up message is that you can edit this message in the callback functions folder. We will go over this in a moment. For now, click OK. Another pop-up will let you know that you have joined the public room. Click OK. Let's take a well-deserved moment to have a little fun. Press the spacebar or W key on your keyboard to make your tank accelerate. The tank will always point towards your mouse cursor. Now press the left mouse button to shoot a missile. Or should I say rocket? You can pause the video and take your time and have a little fun with that. When you're ready, we will move on to the next step. Okay, now let's right-click the tank tab and duplicate it. This will create another connection to the rocket networking server. Now you can drag out the tabs and place them side by side to see the network connection in action. You can test up to four connections on your free account. Go ahead and close out of these tabs, as I will now explain the basics of what you need to know to start making your own original creations with Rocket Networking. The first thing you need to understand is how the connection to the server is established. We've made this very easy for you. Find the O player object and double click on it. Now double click on the create event. On line two, you will see a function called connect to server. If you ever find that you cannot connect to the server, then double check that this line has not been accidentally removed. When the connection has been established with the server, it will send a callback that is handled under the callback functions folder and callback connect to server. And here is the initial message that always pops up when you first connect. Let's go ahead and select this message and press command K to comment it out. Now when you run the game, it will go directly to this change room function. This callback is located here and will display this message. Now I will show you the most important part of the system. Don't worry, it will be super easy and fun. Double click on O player, then double click on the step event. Scroll down to the bottom where it says set what data to share with others. Take note of the format as this is how your player will share properties with every other player on the network. This is very important, so pause the video if need be to take it all in. Okay, now these properties will be captured in another object called O Other Player. Let's check that out now. Double click on O Other Player and the step event. Here on line 4, you will see where shared properties is parsed into the SP variable. This is every instance of the other players that are in the same networking room that you are in. In our case, that would be the public room. Within the if else statement, starting on line 17, the O other player variables will be assigned the appropriate shared properties via the SP variable and dot notation. 
So x equals sp dot underscore x. Y equals sp dot underscore y. Image angle equals sp dot underscore a, and so forth. Let's say you wanted to share more properties for your game over the network. Go back to the O player object. Click on the create event. Create a new variable called kills and set it to zero. Now go back to the step event. Add a comma after the word health. Now add underscore kills, colon, kills. Now let's go back to the O other player object and in the create event, add a variable called kills. Double click the step event. Under enemy health, add kills equals sp dot underscore kills. That's it. Now this new variable will be shared with all other players on the network. Similarly, any objects created on the fly, such as bullets or rockets, are referred to as entities. Entities are handled with the oh my entity object. And the o oh other players entity object. Feel free to use this project as a starting point and make it your own. Finally, let's quickly go back to the Rocket Networking website homepage. If you ever need any help, your first course of action would be to check out the documentation that is located right here. This documentation covers our custom functions in greater detail. Also, feel free to join our Discord server where you can ask questions and share your awesome Rocket Networking projects. We look forward to seeing what you have created. Don't forget to subscribe for more info and tutorials, and thank you for choosing Rocket Networking.